Donald Trump has created a toxic environment. And a toxic environment has allowed his supporters and those who sometimes seek confrontation to come together in violence. There is no place for this. There is no place for a national leader to prey on the fears of people who live in our great country. It is important that we recognize their frustrations. It is important to recognize that there are, that there are, that there are challenges that we face challenges of job insecurity and the lack of rising wages and a, a frustration that their children may not inherit the kind of life that they inherited from their parents. That is to be recognized. But it isn't to be used to draw people down. It isn't used to divide people. I have been talking about vision and hope and solutions. And I'm proud to say that after doing it, basically laboring in obscurity during this entire campaign, I'm pleased to see that the other candidates in the last debate began to realize that name-calling, that lowering the bar on American politics is not acceptable. And I believe they have learned, at least in the last debate, that ideas matter, that vision matters, that policies matter and giving people hope matters.